Hi everybody, it's Tim. I am in Mykonos, Greece, just for a nice little vacation, but I thought I'd film a few of the palm trees while I'm here, so let's take a look at those. So here along the restaurant, you can see there are a lot of date palms. That was what I saw most in Mykonos, where they're just date palms. They seem to be doing better here, and I, I know there is a date palm that is from Greece or the or the Aegean area, but lots of yuccas. Yuccas seem to be doing really well. These are very similar to the yuccas I have in my yard that I bring in during the winter, but of course they stay out here. But just everywhere you look where they water, things are very, very lush. And then where it's not getting as much water, they're not quite as great as you can see out here. This is a great Agria beach, or I'm probably not saying it correctly, next to Elia, and I'm not showing you Elia because there's so many nude swimmers over there. So you're, unfortunately, I don't want to get banned from YouTube. But this used to be a really desolate area here along Elia, and now it's really popular and lots of people. I've been here maybe on three different trips over the past 30 years, and this one, this area has definitely been built up. There used to be nothing on those mountains back there, but the date palms seem to be doing great, uh, and especially down by the beach, this is on the southern side, there is less wind here than on the northern side, so they're not quite as beat up but definitely where people are watering it's much much better and as you can see it is it is really dry here and i didn't remember it being so dry but because i've been gardening so much in the past 20 years i think now it is kind of a shock this is this is more like palm springs than than other places and traveling along the road you definitely see that people have planted a lot along their houses, which is nice, uh, but definitely in love with the date palms. Although you do see a few Mexican fan palms uh, growing and they seem to be a little more popular in places. I did see one queen palm and I don't think I have it on video and it was not doing well. It was just wind tattered and probably not watered enough, but olive trees are everywhere with tons of olives on them. I just, I, I don't know if you can see in this video, and sorry, the format changed a little bit there, but a lot of olives hanging all over these trees. I wish mine would look like that. And this is a hotel very close to the villa I was staying in, it, and they had a variety of different grasses like this one and different kinds of palms and Mediterranean palms and sagos and things like that and i really wish i could have found the gardener here and talked to them because i i really appreciated that he was trying different things at this hotel and some cactuses and things like that but it was just really interesting to see what they're growing here and it's definitely not the mediterranean climate that you see in the french riviera or along the italian riviera it's definitely more desert like here and like I said before where things get watered things do better and then where it, there is no wa man-made watering going on not quite as lush not quite as tropical but some great palms here um, just happy to see a lot more palms in this area but just beautiful along here and then um, I took a a boat out, a, a sailboat out to see Delos, which is where the ruins are, and and swim. And this is the little port here, and you'll see some of the date palms up on the hill. There were some really big ones along here, and just some really beautiful ones. And they seem to be unaffected by some of the diseases that we deal with, especially in California and a little bit in Florida, but some great yuccas and agaves and all kinds of stuff along here um, I just love the light how it plays on the white and and the palm trees it looks really great but but some big big palms here so they're definitely planting I did see some coming up along the side of the road so they're definitely starting to seed and and come up in places on some of the other islands 
that are not inhabited, you don't see any palm trees there. So it's definitely uh, man-initiated where these palms are. And if other people have been to some deserted islands and found some palms, um, that's great. And maybe I, I, I know there's some native things, uh, date palms, to this area, but I, I did not see them, at least in Mykonos. But just just some nice, they've been here a while. And my boat trip out, which you'll see in just a second here, was a lot of fun. If you go to Mykonos, I would definitely say try to get on one of the smaller boats to go out and see Delos and then definitely, you know, swim. And, like the water was so, so blue. As you can see so that was so much fun to be on because it was really moving fast. And, and in between Mykonos and Delos is, is really some open water and you get that really strong wind there and there I am. But the waves get really big and it's really fun if you like waves. And of course I have to show me swimming in this beautiful water. So please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.